All right, hey guys, we're back. Hole number. Five that we're setting up for here, and uh, looks like you know, I'm going to you know, we really don't need B52 here. And just to give you guys a, a little bit of varying guides here, I'm going to with this one go backbone. Um, and you can see my accuracy 92, I'm gonna play it kind of like 1.2 per ring, and um. You know, because I already did a B-52 shot, I will just switch to the backbone. It's not going to matter. You can do it with either. Um, the key component to this hole is going to be very similar to what I mentioned previously on the other hole, uh, hole two. Um, it's going to be about one top spin, and that's going to be the shot that we're looking at replicating. And I should be able to get away with just a navigator for this hole. So just something to, uh, you know, hopefully give you that little bit of... Uh, you know, ball saving ability. And here you can see we're going to have about a six wind with our uh, navigator ball if we have a similar wind to my opponent. She has a, about 10% extra effect than, than I. So, um, you know, the shot that I'm going to do, here you can see my opponent, he's going to do a um, fairway bump. This is the most common way that you'll see this played is just one hop over the bunker and uh, you know there's nothing wrong with it uh, what I do recommend is landing it onto the fringe you can see my opponent landed a little bit long so you might want to just set up a little bit more towards the fringe if you want to go for that shot uh, however you know I've kind of established kind of an easier shot um, and definitely raises well the the degree of difficulty in terms of moving rings is slightly harder, but this is still very manageable. So here what you're going to see me do is I'm going to use right around one top spin, and I'm going to just put the guide through the hole like so. And uh, I play about 30% extra wind, so for me that's going to be about 2 miles per hour in this case. So instead of going, and then I play one per ring, or no, I play my normal ring play. So if... I'm assuming at 8.5 miles per hour, I would usually go seven rings. So that's what you're going to see me go here, seven rings, and hopefully just catch my perfect ball. That accounts for 30% extra wind adjustment, and there you can see it just doesn't crawl up. So it looks like I was just a little, a little short on my... Um, Maybe my top spin was just a little off, but uh, it looks like I, I landed just a tad bit short. So not quite, not quite enough to get over and crawl over that hill. Uh, and, you know, it was, it looks like I landed just a fraction short. But you can see it's going to give you a very straightforward eagle approach. And, uh, you know, do keep in mind to just adjust for, say, 30% extra wind. And you can see I just missed crawling over that uh, that hump there. You can see that mound that I just missed rolling over, which might have led to the hole-in-one. And I just had just a fraction more, so a little bit more topspin. Um, vice versa, you know, I could have landed it just a little bit, a little bit better. Oh, I should have forfeited. But, uh, you know, as you can see, um, very straightforward approach. Just be very careful with your ring counting. Um, you know, for, for my case, like I mentioned, you know, you have to be spot on. You can't miss, I say, an entire ring. If For you to do that method, you need to be very count-oriented to where you can count rings. But, uh, you know, the reason that you see me include shots like this on my channel is because this is the kind of stuff that you need to be thinking about um, to get to kind of taking your game to the next level as if you can pull off those precise adjustments um, that's basically the key to do the the winning of these tournaments or other divisions similarly and the only way you're going to get better is by starting to practice these shots early and uh, you know just improving over time with the adjustments so it is going to take you know some time to practice but that's what I recommend is putting in the time and effort to hopefully, you know, 
improve your game over the long term. Here you can see kind of what I'm doing, two and a half rings. Very similarly to what you saw me do earlier, except this time I'm going to need quite a bit of curl. And then you can see I caught perfect ball. So hopefully, let's see what this looks like. It looks like that's pretty good, but it looks like I just have it coming in just a wee bit hot. But you can see in terms of you know proximity to the hole, I had it going right on line. Give myself a very good chance to make that. And I did just barely hold on. Um, the only thing that I could say that you know I'm not happy with is I kind of landed it a little bit long, and that's why I ran out so much. But all in all, you know, very kind of successful shoot out there. And that's the way that you'll usually see me do it. Um, but, uh, you know, nevertheless, good luck with that fifth hole, guys. And be on the lookout for hole six coming up.